Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over the solutions for uh, the question number six. So first, um, we find all the possible triangles ABC with A being 42 degrees, B being 14, and A being 11. Notice that it says all possible triangles. So that gives the possibility that you're gonna get mo more than one. And that makes sense because am I only getting one angle? So am I getting just a single angle? So if I'm going to uh, consider the law of the sines, I can do sine of A over A equals uh, sine of B over B. And so that means that um, sine of B over 14 is equals to sine of 42 over 11. And so from this, um, of course, I can solve the equation and then the sine of B is just going to be 14 over 11 sine of 42. It is important that we verify that this is a number that is not bigger than one. Uh, fortunately here, uh, sine of 42 is something that is gonna comprise enough uh, the value of the 14 so that the top is less than the bottom and this is an amount less than one. Nevertheless, uh, we do B equals sine to the minus one of uh, this quantity. So 14 sine of 42 over 11 and then uh, this is going to produce initially B to be 58 degrees now uh, we gotta check the possibility of a second angle so if, if there is a second angle because this is a sign uh, and of course we're looking for angles that are less than 180 uh, we will look for an angle on the second quadrant remember we're looking for sine of B certain number positive, so it's going to be here. So the first angle, 50A, is here. The second angle is going to be here. So to find the second angle, B2, is going to be 180 minus 50A. And so that's going to give me 121.6. So with this, I can get likely two triangles. Okay, so uh, the first triangle, yeah, this is terrible here. Let me erase this out. Let me see if I can get a triangle here. And this one. And let me make another one. Right here, and this one. Okay. All right, so for this triangles, uh, I'm gonna call this uh, B equals 14. And so the angle that I just got is the 50A. So the 50A gotta be the opposite side. Um, A, which is the angle that I got initially was 42. And so I got that A is 11. And uh, from here, um, I can find my last angle, of course. Uh, notice that this is 50 and 50. This is 100, so this angle here is gonna be 80 degrees. And that completes um, my first my first angle. Well, if I'm, if I'm a little bit specific, uh, this is 58.4. And so if I'm being fair, this is not going to be um, 80, but it's more going to be like 79.6. So let's, let's be precise here. 79.6, and this is like 50.4, 58.4. Okay. Uh, and so that completes um, initially uh, the angles. Once that I have this angle, I can just use law of the signs to find C. And so this C here, uh, I can find by doing six, sine of 79 over 6 and, and C over that. 
right, equals to, and then I can use any of the angles. I can use uh, 11 over sine of 42. And so that's that's going to give me C. Uh, if, I, if I solve for this, I'm going to find that C is 16.2. Um, sorry, 16.2. Like, this is not degrees. Okay. Uh, remember, we're finding this side C here. Now, for the second angle, uh, we we'll still have a similar situation. We have 42 here. Uh, we have B equals 14 here. We have 11 here. And then um, the second angle that we found was 121.6. 121.6 and 42 actually is going to give me the chance to have another angle. And I can find how much this is by doing 180 minus 42 minus 121.6, which is going to end up being... 16.4 uh, degrees and of course I can do the same thing to find what the value of C is here so I can do C over sine of 16.4 and this is equals to 11 over sine of 42 and if I use that to solve the equation I'm gonna sign I'm gonna find out that sine is uh, that C is approximately uh, 4.6. Okay. That is after solving the equation in each case. Now let's go to uh, the second question. For the second question, we have uh, a triangle. And notice that um, we have certain information about this triangle. We have the information that... Um, this is 12, this is 19, this is 10. Uh, we don't know anything else. This is a right triangle here, uh, but we don't know it in, anything else. So it would be good that we can find uh, this angle theta here so we can get some extra information. And that is the angle uh, CDB, which is what we're being asked to find. So to do that, we set up the law of the sine, the, all of the law of the cosine. So 19 squared is equals 12 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 12 times 10 cosine of theta whatever this this theta is and so now I solve for theta or I solve for cosine of theta initially and this is gonna give me this equals cosine of theta and so using that, I can just do theta is cosine to the minus one of this value. And if you put that in your calculators, then uh, you're gonna find out that theta is 119.2. And then by complement, this one here is going to be 60.8. Okay, so at this point, I already have this value here, and I have some information that I can use. My next question is what is the angle ADC? So ADC is the 60.8 that I just found, and now I want to find the length of AC, which is this side. Uh, but because this here with this angle is a right triangle, I can use a trigonometrical identity, a normal trigonometrical identity for the opposite. So opposite here over hypotenuse, which is 12, is going to be equals to the sine of 60.8. So that means... That means that um, the opposite here, or the AC side, is just 12 sine of 60.8. Which, if we compute this in our calculators, this is going to be 10.5. Okay? So that is the solution to quiz number 6.